What's cracking guys? Long time no see, it's been a month since I last posted to this YouTube channel and the reason is right before you on the screen. So I built this app from scratch which means I had to learn a lot about front-end, back-end, MLOps, uh, etc. So this one was built in Next.js. I also took some time to learn more about Go, Golang language, uh, which I ended up not using for this project and also about MLOps uh, as a whole. So uh, if you wanna see the details of how the app, how the prototype was built, I have this uh, long Twitter thread which you can check out and see uh, the details of how, of what, what went into building this, uh, this app. But in this video, I wanna kinda quickly walk you through the app itself in case you're interested uh, in Andrew Huberman podcast, which is an amazing podcast if you haven't checked it out yet. And then secondly, I have an announcement to make. So let me quickly walk you through uh, what you can do, uh, what you can do with this app. Okay, first quickly the motivation behind it. So um, I don't know how many of you know it, but uh, there is this amazing podcast that learned me a ton of things. So I decided I want to basically create an, uh, like a passion project. And that's exactly what I've done. Uh, the, like the podcast itself has 118 episodes so far as of, as of uh, basically January 2023. And all of the episodes are fairly long, like around even longer than my videos, around like two plus hours usually. Some of them are even like around four hours. So like in order to search through this whole, like a slew of information, what I've done is I've transcribed the whole corpus here and, and enabled the semantic search. So that means you can literally uh, ask uh, questions in natural language and you'll get uh, the retrieved uh, paragraphs from from the actual transcriptions, not something uh, outputted by AI itself. I want to give a huge kudos to the VVA team for making this amazing uh, open source tool and top tier documentation. So for example, we can ask stuff like, uh, uh, what are the best supplements for, uh, let's say sleep. And if I hit enter here, we get uh, back some of the results. So here, here is the first paragraph. Uh, there are three supplements that, at least for me, have had a tremendous positive effect on my sleep that some of you might consider. Uh, I would say if you're doing everything properly behaviorally and you're still having issues, then supplements might be a good thing for you. Or if you're traveling and you want a little bit of extra help in buffering your sleep uh, wakefulness protocols. Some people like to go to the supplements. Okay, we're going to click through the card. Let me just show you the second one so, so you can see that the results are fairly relevant. Uh, so, so we have not talked a lot about supplementation based tools. There are supplements that for most people will greatly improve their ability to fall and stay asleep. And the three main supplements in that category or that kit of sleep supplements, uh, and I've talked about this before, are magnesium threonate, so threonate, apigenin, uh, and theanine. So you can see the results are fairly relevant. We can click through on any of these cards here. So there are like, as you can see, there is a, quite an option of, 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 of uh, relevant uh, paragraphs being retrieved. So if we click to this one, you can see we are led exactly to the uh, transcription page uh, on the to the exact chapter and you can see the highlighted part that we just read. So uh, this is the paragraph we just read. Okay, so on this page itself, you can kind of do quick um, search for for uh, like it's a keyword based search on this page. Uh, let me know if you want semantic search on this one. And you can see here, uh, we just filter out the words uh, letter by letter and then you can literally what you can do is you can find a sentence that you like for example then I've recommended based on scientific literature blah 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 if you hit here let me just you can see the um, the exact time step being opened here 15 uh, something and that was exactly the time step I've, 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 cl I've clicked here so yeah go ahead and play with it there are a bunch of like small features, like you can collapse the sections, you can expand uh, all of the sections. So let me just delete this. If you expand all of the sections here, what you end up with is literally the the, the uh, whole transcript for for this um, page. By the way, I'm, I'm synonymously using transcript and transcription. I know there is a subtle difference, but for the purpose of this video, they're just synonyms. Okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna hit here on the home button. And here you can see uh, I've implemented like infinite scroll. So I had to learn, as I said, a bunch about uh, the, uh, web development. That was kind of cool, cool journey. Uh, you, you can also sign up uh, and leave your email here in case uh, you want to hear updates about this project and the follow up projects, because this year I'll be building uh, cool stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. OK, I forgot to mention one thing. That's basically you can just click through on any of the episodes here. So you can click if you click any one of these. Again, you just end up on the um, transcript page 
so you can just uh, analyze the raw text in case you care about that part and uh, finally uh, I will be adding new cool features going forward. So first things first, I'll be I'll add something like uh, a hierarchy of summary so that you don't have to go through the raw transcripts. You can instead pick your resolution like, hey, I wanna see uh, the summaries on the on the maybe chapter level. So when I say chapter, that, that these are uh, these are the chapters uh, or you can get the, the summary on the episode level, et cetera, et cetera. So now for the second part of the video, I wanna make an announcement <clears throat> and that's that uh, going forward, I'll be uh, making an MLOps a series so that means when I say MLOps I basically mean everything you need uh, to know in order to build um, like ML powered uh, product app uh, uh, like using the, the the best and latest and greatest best practices so uh, that's the idea uh, so we'll mostly be following um, uh, the content from uh, made without ML so let me show you that site if you haven't seen it so far basically uh, it's a it's a very cool website with uh, a lot of cool resources on the topics that we care about uh, Such as like testing serving how to serve your machine learning models and not just do the modeling part So so far on this channel. I've been mostly focusing on modeling uh, showing you research papers showing you how to uh, Analyze the papers understand what's going on how the models work uh, going through the code bases now It's time to go and actually uh, build some cool stuff uh, so the, the course itself is uh, made by Goku Mohandas, my friend, um, and he'll probably be um, a part of this series uh, in one form or another. We might even do a podcast or something. We'll see about that a bit later. <clears throat> there is one more resource I found useful, and there is, that's the course that I went through. So uh, it's called uh, Full Stack uh, Deep Learning. So I strongly suggest you check out that one as well. So what I've done is I went through some of the playlists. I think I went through the full stack deep learning um, uh, playlist here, 2022. Uh, there is quite a lot of videos there. Uh, and uh, I also skimmed through some of the videos from their previous years and that's, that's it. So having said that guys, um, going forward, we, you'll be seeing more of MLOps uh, videos. Hopefully that's something that's interesting to you. Uh, also, do try out the app. Uh, let me know what you found it useful. Uh, and please leave any feedback you have. Uh, if you find any bugs, that will be super nice. Uh, if you can just report them back to me and I'm gonna fix them ASAP for you guys. So in any case, uh, until uh, next video, cheers. Oh.